Kiln, uh, welcome to another player ghost test. In this one, I'll be taking a look at Bradford Jameson, the fourth. The 18 year old striker, so it's a 62 overall. I have to say, he ended up being probably one of my favorite strikers so far this FIFA. It has a lot to do with his dribbling and his physical, his pace and his agility. Uh, he's also six foot one, uh, so a decent frame on him. Uh, he's right footed with high low work rate, three star weak foot, three star skumos. A very solid player. Uh, he made some amazing runs throughout, uh, which was a bit surprising because his attack position is very low at first, but. Uh, it's really uh, with that pace uh, and the dribbling ability running at the defense uh, pushing that back line uh, like he was with some of his runs he was very good but uh, at the end of that first season plus three did actually have an injury that sent his growth slightly but the dribbling uh, just really uh, improved so steadily uh, as well as the finishing uh, started to improve a bit over the years as well plus three again uh, so uh, plus six in two years is very good growth the dribbling as you can see uh, up to that 79 now uh, finishing is up to the 71 attack position he still needs to move up a little bit and that'll certainly help his overall as well so we'll see how he ends up uh, at the end of the th uh, year three and he actually grew nine uh, points in three years which is very good uh, the dribbling is at an 84 already very good for a 71 overall player uh, and that's uh, he's gonna kind of one of those guys who really plays above his overall uh, kind of you know throughout the years I, I am using my 1860 unit career mode also uh, I have he's still like a 63 or 64 and he feels you know like kind of you know like a 76 type player uh, just because of his ability uh, his pace the dribbling etc as you see him now age 25 uh, 78 overall physical stats have really started to uh, blossom grow a lot uh, the general pace the agility uh, jumping and stamina have moved up a bit as well as the balance uh, but the dribbling still very high up there I'm good to see the tack vision kind of caught up as well but uh, we'll get into the highlights now and there's going to be a lot of them uh, you'll see the runs he made uh, were just really good he always just pushed the back line stayed on side I, I actually don't remember him being offside uh, much at all and that's just a very good run uh, those quick cuts in uh, you'll see him now again pushing the back line he can use that pace um, take those big touches and cut back in real quick use that agility in the ball control dribbling and draw a foul like I did in that instance uh, I also uh, I forgot to turn on my Elgato properly before so I had to uh, take this replay uh, take this uh, highlight from like the straight up from the instant replay feature but uh, still very good finish uh, as well as that dribbling again with that agility which is ridiculous uh, you can of course you can also use that dribbling ability to create chances for others uh, so he played really good as a lone striker as well I played him in a 4 through 3 as a striker and his run the run was just absolutely tremendous that led up to that he did all the work before to get him that, into that position to score like he did right there and of course again play him out wide into some space make defenders look silly cut back in use that pace that dribbling uh, just a very good save that's been a very nice finesse shot finish ends up creating a goal uh, with that opportunity as well you can see him continue to run over played over the top uh, looks like the ball might have been going out but does a good job stopping it uh, gonna kind of mess around use that pace that dribbling that agility and actually ended up scoring from a very tight angle uh, I think it just like hit off of Courtois like elbow and hit like the post as well as you could see there uh, and you can also just kind of you can say exploit that over the top through ball if you want this should have been a finish but uh so you can see this uh he's not very strong but he felt a lot stronger than he actually was but either way he was just honestly absolutely tremendous i really enjoyed using him i'd say he's on my top five strike favorite strikers uh this fifa at the moment but uh ball control dribbling great finishing and pace uh just really helps a lot and you know his attack position wasn't very high uh but he it felt a lot higher than it really was i would say so you can take a look at the player information again i really like the six foot one height as well uh, a bit lankier and uh, that really think goes well with the pace and the ball control dribbling. This had these speedster and dribbler specialties in the end. So a uh, huge recommendation, guys. Uh, I really enjoyed my time using him. So I definitely think you should take a look at him as well. Uh, with that, thanks for tuning in. I'll be signing out now, and I'll catch you guys later.